Well, folks, it's time again. This is Ali Rush. I'm here uh, just to try and bring a little more comfort. I know that uh, this pandemic has us all locked up, and I know we, we are looking to get out and about again. But the aftermath or traces of this pandemic linger and it's not quite over yet. But what I have to say to you now, or what I have to read to you now, may, may remind you that safety is the key to life as we know it now and not passing on to the other side. So I thought I would talk to you for a few minutes Concerning pandemic's quiet aftermath causing time to stand still. Pandemic's quiet aftermath causing time to stand still. Who has ever heard of a still quiet? Well, I know of only one thing that causes time to stand still. We are all going to do this. Of course, it will be an involuntary process, but we won't know then that time is standing still. The aftermath was a deafening quiet, causing my ears to ache, just to hear the resounding sounding of a noise of any kind. This quietness reeks of death. That's when we all are still and quiet. But my ears ached for want of noise. The quiet made me sick. A pandemic it was, and Corona was his name. But virus brought not only the word coronas in, but many of ours with it. Noise no longer there could never be heard again. I noticed a clock atop the old courthouse. It had no movement, as if it was in lockstep with time. Had time finally stood still? Strange but transparent people walked seemingly through quietness. Is this death domain? But these people would never walk this way again. But where has noise gone? Death took their loved ones and left them all alone. A virus, they said, Corona is named. Oh, what needless pain. Standing in place, a timeless earth should be rounding on its axis. It was not. Gravity lost effects. Life and objects floating in the balance. The stillness brought a great settling. Not a breeze or wind to sway the tops of the trees. Why? Again, I question. Where is time? Finally, I noticed a movement. People, strange and unseemly, walked with the quiet. But noise was nowhere to be heard. Stifling, annoying, a peace swallowed and enveloped me when I spoke. The words slipped from my lips. I wanted to recall them. I could not. Closer, closer, he moved toward the town. Surely everything there was noisome as ever. Then he would understand what was really happening. He grew tired of this strange situation. It made him feel strange as well. There was no noise there. The town was quieter still. Nowhere else to go. He would stay but made a point to find out what happened here. The cause would better satisfy his mind, now inquiring from a, a fragile mental state. Hearing some noise, even his own, would bring great comfort. People would make noise, that's it. All he needed was to find people, little children. They would make lots of noise. There must be children somewhere close when he found no one, he asked himself this question. Do you think they are in the graveyard just across the street? 